Are you tired of the same old nine to five and are wondering if there's a way out? I've been there with a sweaty armpit stuffed into my face on the morning tube after waiting 15 minutes on a freezing cold platform for a connecting train, arriving late to my job when my boss gives me a load of shit even though he knows none of it was my fault. And I sit down at my computer, open up my work emails and see endless urgent subject lines and it's only 9.15 a.m. Is this what life has become? Another groundhog day taking the same routes for the same paychecks for the same results for the rest of my life? We're so enslaved to the man so we drink like fishes, watch mind-numbing reality TV, stuff our faces with endless sugar whilst chasing fast dopamine hits on an endless Instagram feed. Surely there's more to life than this. Well, lucky for you, there is. But breaking free from this isn't just about earning a truckload of cash. Money doesn't solve the problem, but it does pay for the journey. It's certainly a part of what we're going to discuss today. But remember, it's not everything. If you came here looking for a quick fix to your problems, just remember it's much deeper than that. That's why in this video, I'm going to discuss four key steps that you need to take in order. Implement these and you can escape your own rat race and start living the life that you dreamed of. Now I did it. It took me 24 months of meticulous planning and execution, but now I'm free. So how about we get you there too? Step number one is starting with why. I'm not planning on building a spaceship or founding the next Amazon or even running for my local MP here. My goals are much simpler. For me, I want to create a family, live freely, work on interesting projects, not worry about the grocery bills, shop in Waitrose if I want to, and turn left on the plane once in a while. To do that, I need a why. I have to establish it so it shines so deep within me like an internal North Star, a clear goal and a reason to get up in the morning, a why. My real why is about freedom of choice. It's about creation, energy, and positivity. I want to create something that will provide me with these three things every single day. And that is my why. It can be so easy to get caught up in this so-called race. It's not a race. We're just programmed to think that fast is good. Fast is better. I must get there faster, do things faster, and therefore fast means I win. Wrong. Incorrect. From the fast cars to the fancy business titles, you've been fed a pathway which is driven by someone else's view of success. But along the way, you've traded your own happiness and freedom for an employee title and a regular paycheck. This is why understanding that your why is really important and embed that so deep within you that this is the first step that we're going to take today before you get off that hamster wheel and start moving in the right direction. Something that helps to do this is make a list of everything you don't want. I don't want to end up working like a dog. I don't want to retire with no savings. I don't want to work in this job anymore. I don't want to live in this city. I don't want this relationship. I don't want to be dealing with debt every month. Suddenly, by reverse engineering what you don't want to happen in your life, you quickly begin to understand what you do want. Then go past the material, so the house, car, and job, and really get to the root of it. For me, I want creativity, good energy, and freedom. To do that, I need material things, like a business that works for me, people around me that fight for me and provide me good energy and I need the cash to have that choice. That's my freedom. Those are the material things, but it's deeper than that. So spend some time with this. Let this sit with you for a few days. Keep coming back and watching this section and revisit it and make sure that you've got this absolutely bang on before you start implementing the next steps. Now we have our why, we can begin to move on to the vehicle that will take us from our current situation to where we want to get to. Money. Now, I'm going to skip all of this spend less than you earn, invest the difference bit because that is actually just money. Make more, secure yourself, invest the rest, make more from that, invest the profits and keep growing it. Because really, if you don't understand that already, then what are we doing here? Now, the truth is we all understand it. We just don't let ourselves believe it most of the time. We're enslaved. To grow exponentially at such a rate that frees you from your nine to five and not just 15 or 20 years, but perhaps within five or less is where we want to be sitting here. So to do this, we have to move past the basics and get right to the source, income. Relying on one income stream is never, and I repeat, is never going to get you free within this lifetime. Somehow, some way, we need to bring in income from multiple sources. Diversification isn't just a necessity here, it's your ticket to freedom. Things change. If your boss walks in tomorrow and pulls that table leg from underneath you, are you a three-seater or a four? Because a four or more stays standing. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, firstly, we can't use the primary source of income that we do have, so don't 
don't lose your job, but we do need to look at increasing our income. So we have to look at our spare time and that normally involves early weekends, evenings and weekends. If you have kids, that's half. And if you have regular hobbies or appointments, that's going to be even less. Once you have your amount of time, you can begin to fit a side hustle into your schedule. For example, if you only have one or two hours a week, then you could think of things like tutoring, freelancing or starting a podcast all doable within those time frames. But if you have more time, then you could look at increasing your clients. If you're starting freelancing, you could start a digital business like a blog or a YouTube channel or a social media or an online course. The possibilities are endless. If you want some side hustle ideas, then stay on to the end of this video and we'll give you six ways that you can make 10K a month. The idea behind our side hustles though is that we build it up enough so that we can grow our net monthly income. And now with that money comes the next step. Step number three, is using leverage. All around you, there are different forms of leverage. These are levers that you can pull to take you from A to B. Leverage is all about maximizing what you already have to get more out of what you want. It's about taking advantage of resources, be it time, money, skills, to accelerate your journey forward towards your goals. Financial leverage is one form of this. It means using borrowed capital for an investment and the expectation of making profits to be higher than the interest that you have to pay. For example, loans could be used to invest in property. But tread carefully because leverage can amplify your gains, but it can also magnify your losses. You see, financial leverage isn't just about borrowing to invest. It's about a dance, a rhythm that you set where the money that you have begets more money. Imagine, if you will, that your side hustle really starts to take off. You're making some solid cash from it, more than you ever thought was possible when you were trapped in your nine to five. Now you've got some choices, and I'm not talking about which high street shop that you can afford to spend in. I'm talking about taking that money and using it as a catapult and not a cushion. Imagine pouring that side hustle money into a brand new business venture. You're not just spending money, you're investing it into the future here, where your money could potentially multiply, where every pound you put in comes back to you with friends. It's like taking the first step onto a magic escalator that only goes up. Suddenly, your money has a life of its own. It's hustling for you while you sleep, while you're sipping on a G&T on a weekend getaway, or just having a laugh with your mates. Your money becomes an employee that never, ever takes a day off. It never complains, and it continuously brings in more revenue. Now, that is the allure of leverage, using what you've earned to create a self-sustaining loop of prosperity. This isn't just about amassing wealth, though. It's about fundamentally shifting the way that you interact with the world around you. It's about going from being a passive participant in your life to becoming the director of a grand play. One in which you have the resources to not just survive, but to create, to give, to experience and to live on your own terms. You're no longer working to live, you're living to create something grander than you ever thought was possible. And that is the real secret source of leverage, turning your hard earned money into a relentless machine that propels you towards the life that you've always dreamed of. In essence, leverage is about using the money that you have now to get more of what you'll need later. It's the pivot point in which the balance between your current life and your future life rests. So look around you. What can you leverage? Can you upskill to command a higher income, freeing up more money for investments? Can you leverage your network for opportunities or perhaps invest in a course that will pay off exponentially in the future? Use leverage correctly and that 15, 20 years that we spoke about earlier actually becomes five or less here. Now, step number four is scaling. Ah, scale. Well, you see, if leverage is about turning one pound into two, then scaling is about turning a small endeavor into an absolutely full blown empire. So let's say you've started a blog and you've started to pick up some steam and you're earning a little bit from it. But the question now becomes how on earth do you turn the dial up? The secret is in systematic repetition and delegation. Let's unpack that. You found a system that works, a particular type of blog post that your audience loves, a social media strategy that brings in traffic like the M25 at rush hour. You found your groove now, but how do you actually multiply that without cloning yourself 10 times over? This is where you pull in other people. Imagine hiring a writer who can produce similar content to you or a virtual assistant who can manage the social media aspect of it. Suddenly your one man show becomes a production. While they keep the cogs turning, you're now free to strategize, to look at new ventures, new investments, new forms of, yes, you guessed it, leverage. 
What you'll find is that scaling is not a solo expedition. It's an orchestra and you're the conductor. And as you bring in more musicians, you begin to diversify the instruments. The music becomes richer, fuller, more complex. Each new player, be it an employee, a system or an investment, and it adds a new layer to your expanding symphony. And what about your nine to five? Is it time to let go? Provide some time to grow somewhere else? Well, that's a monumental decision. And we're not going to unpack that today. But here's the thing. If you scale your side hustle so high and you've created enough leverage that quitting your job is not the end of your income, it's a new beginning, well, you know, a decision to make. What that could be is a pivot that allows you to devote even your full energy into scaling even further, taking your multiple income streams and turning them into rivers, into oceans of possibility. So in essence, scaling is the confluence of systems, people, time, money, and leverage. It's where all of these elements, they come together to create that gorgeous symbol amplifying each other, creating not just growth, but exponential growth. It's about taking your newfound freedom, your why, and using it to not only live the life that you dreamed of, but to build a world around it that aligns with you. And that, my friends, is not just success. It's a life well lived. We've delved into the mechanics of escaping the grind, setting up side hustles and scaling them, but maybe you're sat there thinking, I get it, but what business idea is actually gonna align with my why and rake in that kind of income? Don't worry, we're not gonna leave you hanging here. Our next video is tailored just for that reason, and it's all about business ideas that can generate over 10 grand a month. This is where your newfound understanding and your why, your leverage, and your knowledge of scaling can really come into play here. You want to hear these ideas with your own set of ambitions in mind because it's going to be a game changer for you. Your future is already in the making. Let's start shaping it and get you moving on to the direction that you want to be going in. Click onto the next video, watch these business ideas, and let's continue building on this journey together.